get that boot back for you guys? It's huge. You know, I haven't had it since uh, freshman year. Uh, so just want to get that back in the building. You know, we were ready to put it up right in the, right in the locker room. Thanks, man. You've seen from LSU's front seven, you know, they've got Devin White, that linebacker, and you got a pretty, pretty stout defensive line. They have a, a really big offensive line, and they're really technically sound in what they do. Uh, they read, they, how do you say, you put, they put a lot of pressure on O-line, make sure they compress gaps, and they shed off really well when they see the running back change direction in the backfield. Uh, Devin White is extremely athletic, and he, he flows extremely well with the play. He recognizes things. You see him out there calling plays. Uh, that's really impressive. And I think uh, we, we got to be, be ready to get our double teams up the linebackers because if and that's what the D-line is really good at, it's just sucking up two guys and leaving Devin White to just fly through or any of the other linebackers. You know, It's an extremely athletic group, and especially also in the backfield. In the back end with all the safeties and corners, you know, they got talent all over the defense. What did you do on Saturday? How did you spend the off week? Just relaxed, pretty much. Uh, I actually went to a youth football game. Uh, <laughs> I was uh, I was an intern at a CrossFit gym this summer, and uh, one of the coaches there, her son, uh, had a football game, so I went to that. And then I just relaxed and watched some football myself later that night. Did you watch Alabama LSU? What, Definitely what, did. What were, yeah. What were your takeaways? You know, they they came out extremely uh, came out extremely physical. You know, they couldn't really get much going on offense. Bama's defense is extremely good. Quinnen Williams had a had a really really good day with 10 tackles and a couple of sacks. Um, they you know, it, it, Alabama played a really good game, but I think LSU came out really hot from start. Uh, not on offense, unfortunately, and I think that kind of hurt them later in the game. Um, but defensively, you know, that holding Bama to 29 points, I know that's not that's a lot of points, for, but for Bama, who's been averaging 50 points, I know it's a small victory, but in the end, you know, it's it's very impressive because Alabama has been flying around on everybody. Is it an emotional week for you knowing that you'll be playing your last home game here? Uh, hasn't really set in yet, but it definitely is. Uh, it's weird not being able to, not going to be able to suit up and get ready in that stadium again and running out of the A and hearing those hot calls and everything. But uh, I'm, I'm excited for the last game to be a night game and it's going to be, a, there's a lot of hype around it and that's the way we want to go out. Yeah, how nice is it to finally get a home game here? You, know, you guys have played a lot of 11, 11 a.m. games, but 6.30 crowd should be, I mean, lots of people tailgating. Yeah, it's, live it's awesome. You know, it's tough for, I can see it's tough to come wake up uh, really early and come to a game at 11, but, you know, I'm, I'm sure the fans has been awesome all throughout the year. Uh, even though we've had 11 a.m. games, I, I still feel like we've had really good attendance, and, and they've, been, they've been there supporters the whole way.